Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Hint. In this video, we are going to learn recording rules in Prometheus. So let's start. So firstly, if you execute complex query, so it is difficult to remember. So that's why here we are going to use recording rules. So here, let's take an example. So here I have this matrix node memory mem free bytes and if i execute so here you can see when i execute this query you can see memory free bytes that means system memory which is free in bytes you can see the output right then so now i want to identify how much memory is used in my system i want in percentage so here we need to divide by total memory so the query is divide by node memory total bytes now if i click on execute the output is like this so now if i multiply by 100 and then if i click on execute so now you can see in percentage that means this much percentage is not used you can see here this much percentage is not used so now i want to see how much is used for uh, that we can uh, enter here 100 minus and then in bracket so now you can see it will calculate first then subtracted so now you can see you can see this is big query so if this query is available in this drop down you can see this drop down if this query is available in this drop down so i can simply select query and execute so that so we will create some record rule and we'll learn how to access so firstly we need to create rule.yml file in prometheus so here is my terminal and now so recording rules are written in a separate file other than the prometheus configuration so inside the prometheus directory to keep all the files at one place so create a new folder uh, with the name rules and inside it i will create rule.yml file so let's go to the prometheus so here if i run the ls command you can see some configuration files here so now here i'm going to create one directory so run the command mkdir make directory and your directory name is rules so now you can see your permission denied cannot create directory so for that if, now for permission deny so run the query command sudo ch mode triple seven and name of our directory so our directory name is prometheus So firstly, we need to hack and now let's run the command. Okay, now go to the Prometheus. Now you can see here. Now run the ls command. So the files and folders. Now let's create directory using MK mkdir command rules okay now you can see our directory is created with the name rules now firstly we need to insert the rules and here i'm going to create my configuration file dot yml rules dot yml file right so run the command sudo nano and name of my file is my rules dot yml and here we need to enter our code. So here, firstly, now, firstly at the top level, we define the field groups. Then colon, then 
under the uh, groups the first line we pass is the name for your group so then name so uh, the name is must be unique so my name will be my role okay so now define rule property so here i'm going to define my rule property and in rules i'm going to here uh, i'm going to uh, mention two directives here first record and second expression so starting with the record so here we specify the name for this recording rule name under which is result of expression was stored so here record so my expression name is job and then i'm going to copy this and percentage okay so my metric is look like this job node memory mem free byte percent after that then expression right so now for expression type expr expr so as suggested by the name itself with this property we define the expression that we want prometheus to complete or uh, store its result in the time series so let's copy the query okay so now you need to careful about indentation so okay okay now save the file and exit after that here to check our rule is set or not so run the command dot slash prompt tool check rules then my directory name is rules slash my or uh, rule file is my rules dot file so you can see your fail line number 5 fix expected colon okay let's go to the rules file okay now save the file and exit now let's check okay now can see here checking in rule for directory our rules my rules dot yml file success success one rule found right that means it's correct okay now now go to the configuration file our prometheus configuration file so run the command sudo nano and our configuration file is prometheus dot yml and here we need to add a path of our rules dot yml so you can see here here they have mentioned already rules file so now we have rule file so firstly we need to uncomment this line and then here we need to mention our rules path or rules uh, file name so my rules file in my rules folder and my file name is my rules dot yml okay so now save the file and exit 
after changes in our configuration file, we need to restart our Prometheus. So run the command sudo systemctl restart Prometheus. Okay, let's check the status. Okay, it's running. So now go to the Prometheus, refresh the page. Okay, now click on status and go to the rules. So now you can see here, we have one rule with the name job node memory main free byte percent. And in this, in this metric, the expression is you can see here. So now if I go to the Prometheus and now if I search here, job, so you can see our metric. And if I click on execute, so you can see the output. Okay, so it's done. So if you want to set another rule, then you can you can set. So firstly, you need to run the ls command. So go to the rules file. So run the command sudo nano, and my rules my rule dot yml file in my rules directory. So run the command rules slash my rule dot yml. sorry, my rules.yml. And here we need to add one more rules here. So simply, here we need to add record and expression. And as I told you, you need to careful about indentation. Okay. So here in record, you need to enter your expression. So my expression is like job nor CPU. Okay, job notes if you if you search here jobs. So starting with job, there is only one query. You can see one metric job memory mem free bytes percent that we have just added in rule. So now let's add one more. So now save the file and exit. After that, we need to restart our Prometheus. So let's restart and now rules. So here you can see now we have two rules, the state, state is unknown. So wait for a few seconds, it's restarted. Now you can see the state is okay, right? We have two rules, first for memory free, uh, main free byte percent and then second for this CPU seconds total. Now here, if I search for job, now you can see we have two results. So if I run the query, now you can see the result. So result is for this query expression so that's the recording rules so in this video we have learned recording rules how to set recording rules and how to access so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops and channel